are gonna be turning this to this. That's right, today we are gonna be making pumpkin pie in a bag. Now, pumpkins are such an important crop in Illinois. In fact, Morton, Illinois is known as the pumpkin capital of the world. So to make your pumpkin pie in a bag, you need a few ingredients. You're gonna need pumpkin. Libby's pumpkin is actually produced in Illinois. You're gonna need pumpkin pie spice to give it that flavor. Cinnamon. Graham crackers. Milk. Pudding. And of course, ready whip to top it off. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a gallon size Ziploc bag to dump in your milk and your pudding. And I'm gonna get a little bit of help from this because it's really easy to spill your milk. So Caroline is gonna come help me out. So first things first, I measure up one and one third cup of milk. And typically for a single batch that serves about four to five people, you're only gonna pour in two thirds cup, but I want to double the batch so that I can use all of my pumpkin. After dumping in the milk, then we're gonna do the pudding. And so this is vanilla instant pudding. And this is the 3.4 ounce portion. I spilled it a little over to here. That's why she's such a great assistant. <laughs> you might need scissors to help you out cutting it open, but I decided just to go. Okay, so once you've dumped in your pudding and your milk, you're gonna make sure all your air is out of your bag and you're just gonna shake it up. Um, I'm using like the zip close Ziploc bag. I would recommend using a Ziploc bag that actually seals together really well because I can easily be really careful about kneading my pudding, um, but if you're doing this with small kids, um, it's gonna be a lot harder for them sometimes to keep the pudding down out of the Ziploc because it will leak. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the spices and the pumpkin. So, oh wait, I need my assistant. There she is, perfect. Here we go, Caroline. <laughs> so first, we're gonna measure in about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And if you like a little more spices, you can add a little extra. That's kind of just a personal preference, but I would add about a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of pumpkin. Next, we're gonna add the pumpkin. We're just gonna go ahead and dump the whole can in, because why not? And that is what the recipe is called. After dumping in most of your can of pumpkin, you can go ahead and seal the bag back up. Thanks, Caroline. <laughs> then after dumping in the pumpkin, you're gonna knead it and knead it some more. our pumpkin pie filling. Now, this should serve about 10 people. It's not a lot, but a good amount. But did you know that the biggest pumpkin pie ever made was made in 2010 and weighed 3,699 pounds? That is a huge pie. We would need a lot more cans of pumpkin for sure. After kneading your pumpkin pie filling for a little bit, then you're gonna make your crust. And so for our crust, I put a sheet of graham cracker and all I have to do is crush it up in this bag. And you can take like a rolling pin or get a little kid to pound it with their fist if you want it to be more crumbly, but really, this is enough for me. So next, I'm gonna take my little Dixie cup this is a three ounce Dixie cup. And I'm gonna dump some graham cracker crumbs in the bottom. And 
I'm gonna make two, one for me and one for my assistant. After dumping in your graham crackers, you can go ahead and take your pumpkin pie and cut a nice hole in the corner. I have some pretty hefty dirty kitchen scissors here, but you can just use paper scissors as well. And then you're just gonna squeeze just like that. And then the best part, cool whip. Or in this case, ready whip. Nice and on the top. And then, because I'm feeling fancy today, I'm gonna put just a little, oops, a little dash of cinnamon on top. <laughs> that one looks a little better. <laughs> and then, all I need is a friend or an assistant to help me enjoy it. <laughs> and there you had it. You've made pumpkin pie in a bag.